Hi everyone, Kenny Pua here. Welcome to Let's Play Together Session. Alright, welcome back to Ukulele Aerobics Week number 23. Today is actually Monday, so we are going to do some chords, okay? So let's take a look at the book. So today we are going to do five chords in total. So there's a C, G, D, A, and F. So what is actually difference compared to previous is actually we are going to only use three strings for these chords, okay? So let's take a look at the first one, C. So C, um, or C chord, right? Uh, the usual one we use, four strings would be like this. But uh, today we are going to only practice on three strings, okay? So the three strings that we are going to use is actually the string number two, three, and also four. So in this case, we don't need to actually um, press on the third fret here on the first string. Okay, so we'll need to mute it. So while playing the um, chords itself, you can actually uh, use your right hand to actually mute the first string, uh, like touching it uh, using one of the fingers on the right hand, for example, the ring finger, right? And then you can just move like this to strum, okay? Another way to actually do this is actually um, you can uh, use your left hand, right? Your left hand, utilize your left hand fingers to actually slightly touch on the first string, okay? You can use whichever finger you want and then uh, lightly touch on the first string and then you just do a strum, okay? So, right? So the first string won't ring. So this is actually on the C chord. Right, next, we are going to look at the G. So G, uh, as in always, you need to actually press like this, okay? So in this case, we are not going to actually play the um, uh, fourth string. So uh, again, same thing, you can either use your left hand or the right hand to actually mute the fourth string. So uh, in this case, it's actually easier to mute it using the right hand by using your thumb to touch on the fourth string and then use your index finger to just strum the rest of the three strings. All right, like this. So this is actually G, all right? So if you want to use your left hand, all right, to actually um, mute it, you can use your um, index finger, okay? Slightly touch on the first string so that it doesn't sound, okay? but maintain the, uh, uh, the strength to actually press on the third string, second fret, right? So to get this um, uh, G chord, all right? Also, it will have three strings to ring only. All right, next one, you can uh, play this D chord, okay? So D chord, again, we want to mute the fourth string, okay? So uh, same thing, you can use your right hand, thumb to mute, and then press on the D, the rest of the two um, fret here, second fret on the third string and second string, and leave it open on the first string, and then just strum like this, okay? Vice versa, you can actually use the conventional way of uh, actually pressing the D. Use your first finger to just slightly touch it. Also, it's the same thing, okay? Let it don't ring. Then you will have the D chord as well. The fourth one, which is actually the A chord. So A chord conventionally is like this. Again, same thing, we want to mute the fourth string. Use your um, right hand is easiest. All right, and the last one, F chord. Same thing, normal is like this, and we want to mute the fourth string. Use the right hand is easier. All right, so this would be the F chord. So it's pretty easy for today, 5 chords in total, all the chords is using 3 strings only to actually play and it's actually best to use for um, uh, actually sometimes for plucking because uh, some of the strings that we want to pluck, it actually doesn't need to actually press. So um, yeah, so that's all on today, 5 chords in total, just practice it and uh, find ways to actually mute the strings that you don't want to play. 
and then we'll see you tomorrow on utilizing this chord to actually play some strumming. All right, so see you tomorrow on the next exercise and thank you for watching this video until this end. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel below. Click the subscribe button and also turn on the bell so that you can get the latest update on this video series. And if let's say you think this video is actually useful for others, do share that out as well. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow on the next exercise. Okay, see ya. Bye-bye.